Hello, pick breakers and sheep punchers. This is Jury Duty Summons, and we're back again in Jury's Junkyard. This continuing series where I show off build craft, industrial craft, and now red power and uh, a few other related mods. And uh, so that's what we're doing today. Um, I've had a number of people um, complain that I haven't built an enchanting table yet. And I haven't, which is really weird. <laughs> when are you going to do it? All right, well, I'll do it now. How about that? <laughs> let's let's get her done. All right, so I think this is the recipe. A couple diamonds. Turn off Skype. Or the brick -a -brick -a -brick -a -brick -a All right, there we go. <laughs> Remember, guys, if you have me on Skype and I show up as being uh, Do Not Disturb or... Yeah, do not start. I'm probably not. I'm probably recording or I'm just away from my computer. Um, go ahead and leave me a message. I'll get back to you when I'm done. If I'm marked on a way, I will probably. I'm probably either at my computer and not wanting to talk, or I'm just letting you know that if you do send me a message, I may take a while to respond. Uh, I'm not often uh, online, but that's because I'm usually. If I'm at my computer, I'm doing something. I'm not. So I don't know. Anyway, so I'm usually I'm usually away or do not disturb. Either way, send me a message and I'll just get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, anyway, uh, back to this. Oh yes, obsidian in that shape with a couple of diamonds, a book, and you get an enchantment table. Yay! Now, if only I had a room. I need like a, I need to put together this whole an area. Oh, look at that! <laughs> so I built um, off my little hallway just an enchanting table area. Let's throw her down and see what happens. Aha! Yes. Yes! It worked. Can I enchant that? No, I can't enchant that. Ah! So, we're getting high level stuff here. 43, just a second ago. 39, 48. That's pretty good. Um, I don't really have the levels I used to have a little while ago, but that's okay. I, I died and lost all of them because I hadn't used an enchanting table. <laughs> Just like everyone was telling me to do. Um, anyway, one thing I did here that you may not have noticed is that underneath this block, I put a glowstone there. And this is actually transparent, so you don't have to have any internal lighting in here to make that work. Um, so yeah, there we go. On a side note, um, these half steps are part of... Um, this, this wool half steps, I'm sorry. Those are part of um, Red Power. The saw, the hack saw, the hand saw, will cut wool in half. You can use it as half steps, which I thought was pretty fun. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I don't want just a regular crafting table. What I want to do is, is take this to the next level and take advantage of some of the red, of the mods out here that I have and build something um, that I saw. I think it was Brenny Beast or ethos labs one of those two maybe even both they built a, a an adjustable room and so that's what i want to do here um, but i'm going to use the red power to do that and so what i'm going to need uh, some few cables all right so this is what we need right here so we need to make this as a shape so we'll bring all of this all this junk over and we're gonna need some dies and we're gonna need some string there we go see i was prepared <laughs> I don't know how much I, how much do I even need? Let's see how much that gives me. Uh, where's the wall? There we go. That gives me 12. Um, I'm thinking 24 would probably be more than enough. 24, 20, 36, duh. <laughs> oh boy. All right, one thing you can do is you can dye these. And so I'm going to dye 10 black. 10 yellow, and let's go with um, 10 red. Ta-da! It leaves us with 6 insulate, white insulated. I think that's good. And the thing about the insulated wires is that they don't really connect. Um, so we can have a red wire here, and then a yellow wire here, and they don't they don't interconnect, so they don't, you know. Um, and that's really handy. Oops, that didn't help. So you see that right there doesn't connect. That's going to be really handy in that it makes wiring things a lot easier. And the other thing I wanted to trick here... Give me one second here. Sorry about that. The other thing I wanted to try... Uh, I didn't know the recipe for it offhand. Was going to be bundled wires. And I think I can... I'm going to need more than that, aren't I? Let's see how that works. Okay, that's good. 
I should have made more bundle wires, but okay, we'll do that. So that's two. And you can use any color wire you want. Eh, man. Is that going to be enough? Yeah, that's probably going to be enough, I think. <laughs> and then we'll do a couple more. Uh, you know what? I'm not, I don't want to waste all these colored wires. Let's just make a few more of the regular insulated ones. Uh, right. <laughs> There we go. That's how it's done. All right, cool. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. And then string has to hold it together. Not sure what the thinking is on that. All right, so we got ten bundled cables. I'll see what those do. Those are really, those are really handy. And so a bundled cable, let's get rid of that, allows you to do that. And then if you wanted to take wires off of that. So power that comes in on this side, okay, let's say there's also a yellow one here and a yellow one there. So, so the red, if you push power into the red wire here, it will only come out on other red wires. And the same for yellow. And so they can travel through the same cable, but be independent of each other. So that in itself is a, is a huge, huge advantage. That's going to be very helpful, I think. There we go. And there was something else I needed. I needed some pistons. Do I have any, where are the pistons at? Do I have them? I have them on me. <laughs> That's where I put them. <laughs> All right. Well, that works. Um, and I'm gonna need regular, regular red, uh, red LA wires. There we go. Put my safety rubber away. Hmm. Yeah, I think I got everything I need. Let's see if I can do this. Blink. Oh, I'm going to need uh, a bit of wood here, just a scaffolding, I guess. Oof. So I'm going to do these three metal ones. Oh, whoopsie daisy. I can't jump, can I? There we go. And then I want that out. There we go. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So what I want to do is I want to be able to... Um, oh. Nope. I guess I'll have to make more scaffolding. I want the the pistons to be able to bring the um, the these things out. So that should be pretty easy if I can figure out what I'm doing here. I don't need that right now. There we go. All right, so I need to do that in these, uh, on the other sides as well. So I'll be right back when I'm finished. All right, I'm back. I have a set of three on each side, which is exactly what I was hoping to do. So that's perfect. Um, and now I need to put a little bridge across the top. So let's do that. There we go. And what do they want to do? How do I want to do that? So let me see here. But that's right. I'll need some. Let's get down here. Da -da -da. I had them somewhere. <laughs> Where did I put my levers? Oh, man. Well, I, I guess two is a start. All right, let's just make some more levers because they're not a big deal. I'm going to need cobble, though. And I need sticks. There we go. There we go. There we go, Bob. All right, so we'll put the levers right there. Dunk, dunk. So perfect. That'll do just fine. And one other thing I need to do real quick before we start. Before, not before we start. Before we continue. How about that? All right. Let's just cut some of this into strips. Into strip. Into. All right. Wrong one. Damn. It was all going so well. All right. 
Uh, there we go. Stone. So stone slabs into stone panels. Let's get st yeah, screw it. Get the best as we can get. And stone covers. And then I don't want quite covers, but stone strips. That'll be enough. Oops, and now we have all sorts of stuff we don't need now. <laughs> And that, yep, that'll do. And the one thing I like about the strips is that they're uh, rather handy. So there we go. We need one right there and then one right there. And I'll show you why in a second. So we're going to put a uninsulated wire on each one. And then we'll go with uh, black, red, and yellow. There we go. So now, as they come up, they won't connect. But to um, actually receive power, they won't receive power unless they're insulated, unless they're uninsulated. Um, and so if you get rid of these right here, the, um, oops, that's not it. Uh, if it'll break. Yeah. There we go, and there we go. So those will connect unless there's some way to prevent them from connecting, which is that. So there you go. And um, that looks okay. That'll do just fine, I think. And now we can take that bundled wire we have. So there we go. Now we have a connection coming over the bundled wire. Okay, so we're running pretty low on yellow, but that's okay. We only really need one, and then we could do uninsulated the rest of the way. That's fine. Um, yeah, that'll do, I think. And we'll do a... What order did I put these in here? Yellow, red. So this one red, and then the last one's black. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And then what I want to do is I want to bring that across like that. Let's get rid of that one right there. And if you can't see what I did there, let's just jump down so you can kind of see here. Uh, there, zoom. <laughs> yeah, you zoom finally. Um, so this wire will go across these back of these things here. And it does. It will power the one below it as well. So that will work. I think that will work. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll work. I'll have to try it just to make sure. Just like everything else, there's bound to be something wrong. Blink. There we go. And we'll do the same thing with yellow. Kind of precarious where we're at. <laughs> think that's it let's see what happens when we start powering these things um, I don't have a good way to get into the room from up here but oh well okay let's see so that's supposed to be the first one so okay so that one's now in let's retract look at that it retracted the wall like it's supposed to <laughs> yes Woohoo! It worked. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. And the reason why you, the reason why you would want to do that is that the power of the bench, the level of, of, of recipes it'll give you, or recipe or level of enchantments, is based on the number of uh, bookshelves nearby. And so, if you reduce the number of bookshelves nearby, it will reduce the uh, level of enchantments by that amount, or by. Um, you know, a certain amount. So you can see the it's not we're not getting forties anymore at all. And if we bring back the other ones, so it's a dramatic. We're not getting hardly anything over. I guess we got one 
couple of 20s, but nothing over 20 now. Or 22, I think, is our highest so far. So you can see how that that really limited the, the level we're getting. And um, if you're trying to get a lower level enchantment, that'll help a lot. And so um, I think that worked out pretty good. Let's bring them all back in. One last, take a, take a look one last time. So we've got 30, we've got 30, 28, 30, 35, 37. There's a 40. So, yep. 41. So, yeah, that works. Haha. -ha. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, that's it for this episode. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments field. And um, I don't beg for upvotes or uh, thumbs ups, but if you wanted to, I'd appreciate it. If you don't, then that's fine with me too. Have a nice day, everybody.